Now, if you have the companion app Compressor, and Compressor gives you a lot more control to really, really finesse and customize all of the compression settings that you might want. If you're using Compressor, you have a couple of additional options available in Final Cut Pro. First of all, you can take the current project and send it to Compressor. And when I do that, it's going to launch Compressor and it's going to load my project, the current time, what was in the timeline. It's going to load it here into Compressor. And then in Compressor, I can add a particular setting, like I've got my own custom. I've got a couple custom settings I've created down here or any of the built-in ones. You know, you can just drag those in there and apply that or add mine as well. And then when you're ready, you go ahead and start the batch and it's going to start rendering those elements. And uh, I'm not going to go through a whole lesson about how to use compressor. You'll need to take a compressor course to learn that. But it, it, this is a really nice way to, if you want to use the power of compressor and use any of these really elaborate settings, and there are, just to go in here for a second, you know, you, you really can customize these to a great degree. Uh, cropping and padding, adjusting the quality settings, applying filters. Uh, it, it's a very rich environment for building very custom compression presets. You can do that straight from Final Cut just using that command, send to compressor. And you can do that from the browser up here. If you select a clip, you can just send that right to compressor. Or if you've got a timeline open, just uh, with, the play, with the timeline window active here, and that's going to send the whole project. But additionally, if you're familiar with Compressor and you start, especially if you start creating your own custom presets, you can also access, just go straight to those presets right from within Final Cut Pro. I'll show you how in the next tutorial.